Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This channel is mainly focusing on life science industry learning as well as the career path. So before introducing uh, the presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is RK Singh and uh, I have been working in the pharmaceutical industry for the last couple of years. I am having experience in quality control, quality assurance, compliance as well as vendor audit experience. So let's get started this video so today our first topic is what is computer system validation so in pharmaceutical industry every person uh, uh, heard about this term called computer system validation uh, they must hear in manufacturing or they must hear in the quality control department or in engineering department what is computer system validation computer system validation is nothing but a documentation evidence which ensures that the hardware or software which we are using in our industry must fulfill in line with the regulatory guidelines as well as the user requirement so this line states that computer system validation is nothing but producing a documentation evidence uh, in which the hardware uh, or software which we are using that must be fulfill with the regulatory guidelines and it also must fulfill the user requirement so in simple term uh, how how can i say is that uh, the i'm i'm having one particular software that software for the software i'm going to perform the computer system validation so uh, the csv engineer or csv team must uh, perform the computer system validation and they are producing the documentation evidence that documentation evidence states that that software is working fine and it having no gaps no loopholes and it must be and this software is properly comply with the regulatory guidelines as well as the user requirements as per the user requirement the software is working fine and it also meet the regulatory compliance so that is called the computer system validation so people will ask what are the regulatory guidelines so regulatory guidelines is nothing but it must uh, fulfill the regulatory guidelines in simple terms the for example you if you, your company is an uh, fda approved company let us take uh, your company is an fda approved company so definitely uh, in your company must be comply with the re regulatory guidelines correct so uh, one day uh, definitely FDA is going to come to your company and they are going to inspect your uh, different departments and they are going to audit your uh, particular department or whole, the whole department. So for that FDA person, they will ask the uh, documentation uh, for the particular system. So uh, they will ask the uh, validation document of the particular system. So at the time you need to present the computer system validation of the particular system. For example, if you go to an QC department, they will ask the uh, chrome, there are so many chromatography instruments are there, instruments are there. So for the particular chromatography instrument, uh, the FTA will ask the computer system validation document of the particular chromatography instrument. So at the time you need to present this computer system validation document that is nothing but this documentation evidence we are going to present to FTA. FTA will see the document and they are they will find that the particular chromatography instrument is fulfilling the uh, their regulatory guidelines. So they are having the set of guidelines that guidelines is fulfilling the particular uh, must comply the particular the uh, particular system is complying with the uh, regulatory guidelines as well as the user requirement user requirement is nothing but user having some requirements right we are we call it as user requirement so user having the set of requirement that requirement is covered in the validation document and which states that the user requirement is covered in our software also or in hardware also so that is nothing but the computer system validation in simple term we can say that it is a documentation evidence which is present to the auditors uh, which states that my software or hardware is fulfilling is fulfilling all the regulatory guidelines as well as 
my user requirements that is called computer system validation and these are the different guidelines gam 5 21c for part 11 u annexer there are means so many guidelines are there so these are the things should be covered in computer system validation that is called computer system validation the people who are new to this slide or new to this presentation for them i have explained very simply so i think everybody is understood so let us go for a next slide why csv is required in limestone industry because it should has to be comply with the patient safety product quality and the data integrity these are the three important parameter if you go for any intro point of view definitely people will going to ask you why we are going to perform the csv and why csv is required if any of the three parameter is covered we definitely we have to perform the computer system validation because this is not an automobile industry or some other different industry license industry which is directly impact the patient's uh, life right the the drug or uh, and medical devices which are going to produ uh, produce by our company which directly uh, impact the patient's life so the drug which is producing by our company or the medical devices it is ultimately going to consume by you uh, or us okay so these are the uh, very uh, critical things and uh, we need to perform validation for the, all the systems or softwares from the uh, which, uh, which which is used for the making of the drug from the api manufacturing raw material up to the uh, finished product what are the different uh, uh, segment it gone through so each segment we need to perform computer system validation so which ensures that all the system all the instruments all the software which is used for making the drug is properly uh, comply with the regulatory guidelines and uh, all the system must have the computer system validation documentation this is the reason why we need to perform the csv in life science industry that's what it is mentioned as a patient safety which is directly related to patient safety right our drug or and medical devices which is directly related to patient safety if it is related to patient safety definitely we have to go for a computer system validation and also it is directly related to product quality the product which you are making that product quality is also depends on our validation activity as well as data integrity so these are the three important parameters uh, and it also very important in uh, for intro point of view who are going for a license industry job so csv must required if any of the parameter is covered so let us go for a next slide a difference between computer uh, system and computerized system validation so what is a computer system validation and computerized system validation some people ask sir it is both are same only no no my dear friend they are different parameters there are different things computer system validation is nothing but performing the validation on the computer system so that is called computer system validation if you take the chromatography instrument chromatography instrument is directly uh, connected with an computer system right so for that system we are going to perform the validation that is nothing but the computer having the keyboard mouse monitor as well as software so we are going to perform the validation on that particular computer system that is called computer system validation what is called computerized system so let us take if the computer system refers uh, to which which is also a computer but it is not in the form of a keyboard mouse monitor so let us take the uh, plcs scadas uh, in the manufacturing sector uh, like our drivers so this and all comes under uh, the computer system which are having the input output uh, processing unit uh, where we can able to give the hmis so this and all comes under computerized system so these are the uh, uh, terminologies called computerized systems so for that particular uh, plc scadas hmis drivers we need to perform the validation because which, which is all, uh, which is also related to the uh, drug manufacturing 
so we need to perform for the particular computerized system validation also so basically this computerized system uh, validation and computer system validation both are different things so many people get confused in computer system and computer system both are not similar which is refers to the particular instrument which is referred to the particular uh, computers so if i am going to uh, do in uh, quality control definitely it is in computer system validation because it is connected to the physical computers um, if we go to uh, manufacturing or in engineering there we can see the computerized system validation which is the computer system refers to the plc scada hms which having the input output processing unit so this are all computerized system validation so for this uh, session we are going to end up to here in the upcoming next section we are going to see uh, what is gamfi and uh, what, what are the different categories in gamfi and importance of gamfi and uh, guidelines of gamfi so if you have any doubts you can drop and comments uh, in the comment section i will answer to each and every one and uh, if you get more clarity you can uh, mention your queries on the comment section so that i can uh, i mean be able to develop myself in the upcoming presentation so that i can be able to give more clarity on this upcoming slides or upcoming videos thank you so much thank you everyone